Essay Meta Language Application Task. This is how to improve your writing, and I'll show you the steps, and then I'll show you an example of my own. These are all the words we're going to be trying to use. And the learning intention for this lesson is to follow a model of the process of improving essay meta language, and then of course do your own. The success criteria is I am confident and able to complete my own process of improving essay meta language. Your task is basically to watch the process and note down the steps so you remember what you need to do and this should be able to help you out when you're doing this task to your own piece of writing later on. So when you're doing this process, it's important to remember you're not adding detail, you're just adding meta-language. Of course, adding detail would improve the pieces I've provided you, and the brief paragraphs aren't that detailed, but detail alone doesn't add what we're looking for here. So in the comment section below this video, the, your four options will be to either compare apples and oranges, which is the one we'll do in this video, cats and dogs, potato chips and chocolate, and or books and films. So step one is just to write out, and I'd prefer you did this in writing, write out your own copy of your chosen paragraph in the comment section below. And as you can see from the example pictured here, um, I've left a space above and below each line so that I can add my own little annotations in the different colors I will choose for step two. I'd recommend you write this out rather than type as it makes it a lot more visual and a lot easier for you to work out how you're gonna change things as in most assessment tasks you'll be writing on a piece of paper rather than typing. So step two is to choose five colours, one for each of the following categories. Differences, similarities, modifiers, analysis and sequence. And of course each of these relates to the video you should have already watched by now and you should understand each of these concepts. So for my example piece I've picked pink for differences, green for similarities, blue for modifiers, reddy, pinky, orange for analysis and yellow for sequence. So step three is as you're referring to your notes taken from each of the videos, you should have a list of each of these written somewhere that you can easily access, preferably uh, open to a different page on each one. You'll need to be looking for differences, similarities, modifiers, analysis and sequence. And you might want to do these in whatever order makes sense to you, so maybe start easily with just differences and similarities. You could probably start with sequences, it's the easiest of all, and then differences and similarities followed by modifiers, and then lastly, analysis. Keep in mind, these words and phrases will most likely be placed in one of the three following places. At the start of sentences, following a comma, or before the words similar or different in the case of modifiers. So in my piece for differences, obviously I've looked to the section that has all of the differences explained, and you'll notice that there was a colon used here. So it says here are some of the differences, colon, and then it's just listed three different ideas. Um, it's really important in your own writing, and essay writing particularly, you should never be using a colon. Maybe semicolon is better, but whenever possible, give your sentence a full sentence rather than a quick listing of ideas as is provided here. So it says here for the differences, here are some differences. They have a different texture when eaten, they smell different, they have a different colour. So, so the sentence on differences reads as follows. Here are some differences. They have a different texture when eaten, they smell different, and they have a different colour. So I've just added before they smell different, on the other hand, and before they have a different colour, even though they have a different colour. And this makes this flow together better, though to improve it, honestly, you'd probably want each of these three points to be given its own sentence and to be explained more fully. But the addition reads, here are some differences. They have a different texture when eaten. On the other hand, they smell different, even though they have a different colour. So hopefully you can see how that's improved the flow and the sequence of this sentence. So for similarities, we're looking, of course, at the sentence that discusses similarities, which says, both grow on trees and can be purchased at a store. There are lots of different types of apples and even different colours. So what I've added is before the very start of the sentence, similarly, followed by a comma, and before there are just as, and I've replaced even with as well as, which makes it read as follows. Similarly, both grow on trees and can be purchased at a store, just as there are lots of different types of apples and as well as different colours. And probably the and there could be cut as well, but you can see how it flows much more nicely and you can clearly connect the ideas rather than just being provided with a list. It gives you some indication as to how these things relate to one another. So for modifiers, we made a lot of changes. So I've added the word hardly, crossed out some words in the first sentence, almost all, significantly, very, totally, significantly, completely, and slightly. So basically if your word ends in an L-Y, you can put it in front of most verbs. So we have apples and oranges are hardly similar, and almost all others, and significantly different, very different, totally different, significantly different, completely, and slightly similar. So these are the modifiers, as you can see, 
All of them have taken place before either the words similarly or different, ex or differently rather, except for others, and almost all is just adding a uh, clarifier on the word others. So for analysis, I struggled over this one for a little while, and it was a little bit harder. Uh, because the arguments being presented are so simplistic, it was quite tricky to use decent analysis meta-language. But I've added reasonable, nevertheless, and in short. So here are some reasonable differences. And nevertheless, there are lots of different types of apples. And in short, apples are more different to oranges than they are similar. So it'll be much easier to use analysis in a much better piece of writing than this. But for this example, it was difficult to add some analysis words but you can see how they do add to the sophistication of the piece. In terms of sequence, this was really easy. I just added firstly, secondly, thirdly, and overall. So for the list of examples, since we have a colon, we can add firstly, secondly, and thirdly for the first, second, and third idea following that. And then at the end of the piece, we can add overall to give it a little bit more clarity of how it's structured. And again, each of these three things listed, firstly, secondly, and thirdly, these sequence words improve the comprehensibility of this, but it'd be much better to have a sentence for each one. All right, and step four is where you put it all together. So now you need to type up the improved version of what you've written and post it below the comment that represents the one you've taken. So if you're doing dogs and cats, find the comment that's set, that is the paragraph for dogs and cats and type uh, my improved paragraph and post it below that comment so your teacher can check it. So that's your task. I'll be looking forward to reading your improvements on these very poor paragraphs. And then your task going forward, of course, would be to follow these steps for your own practice pieces and your own essays, any of your own pieces of writing, and trying to improve upon the meta language you've used. Thanks for watching.